that. Our other top story, an LAPD officer prosecuted under California's revenge porn law has been sentenced to probation. The officer was accused of sharing explicit photos with other male officers. And those pictures were of his ex-wife, who is also a police officer. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard broke the story a year ago and joins us live now with an update. Eric. Hi, Robert and Annabelle. Well, this was one of the first times this new California law was used to prosecute anyone, and in this case, it was an LAPD officer. It took us about two weeks to confirm that this officer had entered a no-contest plea late last month to a single misdemeanor charge that was the result of a plea deal where most of the charges he initially faced were dismissed. LAPD officer Brady Lamas, seen in a photo filed in court as an exhibit, entered a no-contest plea February 28th. That no-contest carries the same legal weight as a guilty plea. Lamas was charged with six misdemeanor counts just over a year ago. That happened after his ex-wife, also an LAPD officer, said in a court filing that she discovered explicit photos and videos of her on his cell phone. She said in the court papers that there were messaging and social media applications that showed the material had been sent to other male LAPD officers. In exchange for the plea, the L.A. County District Attorney's Office dropped five of the counts and Lamas was sentenced to a year on probation. The DA's office told us this disposition appropriately addressed the seriousness of the defendant's conduct. The victim was consulted and concurred with the terms of the disposition. A defense lawyer for Lamas didn't get back to us with a response. The DA's office says one critical part of this plea deal last month was that Lamas agreed to surrender his state certification as a police officer, meaning he can no longer work as a police officer in California. The LAPD removed him from duty as soon as the allegations were made back in 2022, so he hasn't been on the streets as a cop and now can no longer work as an officer anywhere in the state. Live in the newsroom, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you.